Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about intake form. I had a client um, who was gathering data from individuals who are looking to improve their health and are suffering from chronic conditions such as heart disease or uh, type 2 diabetes. Now, at this very moment, she was collecting those PDFs. They were being filled up by these individuals. And then once they were completed, she was actually manually inputting them into Salesforce. This obviously created a lot of headaches, a lot of time on her side, and she realized she could put that time to a better use. Now she came to me and she was like, okay, can we get something built out that integrated with Salesforce directly? So she didn't have to handle all of these uh, individuals and then have to go and, you know, input them into Salesforce. I was like, absolutely no issues, we can handle that. So what we did was we built this form on Titan and then fully transformed their experience in just matter of days so let's get started i want to show you what the before looks like and then i want to show you what the after looks like okay so this is enrollment and eligibility form collecting first name middle name last name and it goes on to look at the special requirements needed for the patient to establish further um, demographics about them and this is all done on pdf right now these are health questionnaires so you can see the different data types being used in order to collect that information again you have to manually type this up today in salesforce so it's a bit of an issue here we've got the hipaa regulation right and the customer is simply reading through this and signing it but it's not an electronic signature they're simply taking pen and paper and making those signatures right now this is a waiver of liability they're going to go ahead and sign it so you start to see the idea of how this right now is so cumbersome where they've got these documents, which are PDF, they have to take the information and then input it in Salesforce. So that's the old way of doing things, the PDF doom, I like to call it, where you have to um, manually do everything. The next part, I'm pretty amped because we already get to show you the transformation. So let's get into it. Let's show you the build part. So this form is completely built using drag and drop on Titan Web. As you can see, the same elements that you saw in the PDF, we have made them available on this form and any input data, which is buttons, different validations for different data types is certainly available. And we've created beautiful sections. Like I said, you know, it's all drag and drop. All you simply have to do is add a column. And once you've added the columns, simply drag your fields inside them. And once the fields are dragged inside, if they're not aligned properly, they're very, very easy to align. All you have to do is click a simple option and simply align it. It is really, really that easy. So the entire thing built drag and drop. It's also compatible across all device types, whether it's mobile, laptop, tablet friendly. So that was the build part. Very exciting. It's already come a long way from a PDF to an actual digital form. But the next part is the most crucial. We want the data going into Salesforce. If that wasn't possible, all of this would be completely redundant. So I'm really excited. Let's get into it. Let's give you the full demo right now. So the form is now ready to go and we're going to go ahead and fill this out. What I've done is I've taken my time to quickly go ahead and fill out some data. And as you can see, the first name, middle name, last name, email, some of the enrollment data. And as we go further down, we've got some special requirements uh, that I've filled in. And it's really, really easy to fill this out as, as an end user. You're just clicking on the options, whatever is relevant, you're selecting. And then once it's selected, we're going to go ahead and click next. When I click this, what is going to happen inside of Salesforce. So the first thing that will happen inside of Salesforce, I'll come back to this in a second. If I go ahead and refresh, it's going to create the data for me. So you can see here that it's got all the data that I've just entered, the first name, the last name, the birth date. And as I scroll down, it's got all the mailing address and then all the special requirements that I'm looking for have certainly been added into Salesforce. This is what we're looking to achieve. We're trying to get rid of the PDF. We're trying to reduce the manual entry and we're looking to get that data pushed into Salesforce in real time. Next part of this is the HIPAA regulation rights. As you saw in the PDF, this required signature. Now, out of the box, we have electronic functionality available where Leanne can just simply sign it and click Next. What will this do? Well, let me go ahead and show you. So, as you can see, if I just go ahead and refresh right now, it will push that signature box directly into Salesforce. There it is. So this functionality is what we call standard out of the box available inside of uh, Titan. But we have 
bit more of an elegant solution. So the elegant solution looks like this, where you actually have a whole PDF um, worked with Titan Sign. Now Leanne can just simply go ahead and enter the data, click Sign now. She can again draw into it if she wants to, but if she wants to go ahead and select a ready-made signature, she can certainly do that. And as I click Finish Sign, this will go into Salesforce. And where will it end up? Well, let me go ahead and sign this one here, and then I will show you very shortly where the data resides. This is a really elegant solution. Normally, you would have to send this in the background for it to be signed, returned into Salesforce, but this one will go directly into the files and it's done right in the moment. So one final few questions I have to answer, click finish, and my form is now completed. Like I showed you, all the data is coming in here, but have a look in the files on the right-hand side, where essentially, now we have four PDFs. Now the PDFs are the signed PDFs that you just saw a minute ago and supplementing those are tracking log, which is really for audit purposes. You get to see when the document was sent, when it was viewed, when it was completed. And just like that, we're turning all the data back into Salesforce. Think of having to work with this manually. You have to upload it. You have to get it signed in person. It's a lot of work here. We've just executed that all within the form itself. You don't even have to send this in the background. On top of that, we give you full-blown tracking capability to show you when the document is sent, when it's viewed, when it's completed. So that is a whole breakdown. And as you can see, it is really, really easy. All the data flows beautifully inside of Salesforce. And really, it makes it a very seamless integration, no matter the data type, very, very different options available. And you can see that the final food security question is, have also ended up inside of Salesforce. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to showing you more of this stuff uh, down the line.